Hi there, it's Sam from Beautifulstar.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a lovely little box using a six by six piece of paper and it's sealed fully at the bottom and the sides and it just opens up like that and it is charming and it uses Myths and Magic designer series paper but not, not a single mythical beast in sight. Just beautiful flowers and actually for my next one I'm going to use the other side of the same paper and just show you just really how versatile it is. Now I really loved the Myths and Magic although I'm not really a unicorn kind of a girl um, and my boys most of them are kind of beyond the knights and dragons thing but you know kind of if we're going to buy a pack of paper like that often you've got somebody in mind and then you've got leftover bits so let me show you what to do with them. Right six by six inches uh, 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter centimetres and on the first side score it at one and three eighths of an inch two and three quarters four and one eighth and five and a half inches and in metric three and a half seven ten and a half fourteen turn it to the side score it at one and three eighths of an inch and at four and one eighth and at five and a half inches. So that's three and a half, ten and a half, fourteen. And all of the measurements are all on my blog, so you don't need to worry about writing them down. So just click in the description bar and it will open up and you'll see a direct link to this project and my video will be embedded in that. And so you can watch the video with the measurements underneath. Okay, so I'm folding my score line. So this is lovely. This is sort of glittery on this side. I don't really know how well you're seeing it, but you can hear it. That's all the lovely gl glittery bits. Right, let's get all of this trimmed around. So this is obviously the front of the box and we've got a little thin panel here so first things first take off the bit at the bottom so the little skinny rectangle we're going to get rid of that okay and then cut up those other three parts and this is what's going to form the base and then i'll show you the parts to cut at the top so they're all separated like that now we've got two We've got a skinny bit and a little tiny square. Get rid of that completely. Okay, that's gone. This one here, we're just going to keep the square. So you need to get rid of that part. And wedge into that. Because it's square, you wedge in a square. Don't ask me why, always wedge into the square. Okay, this one we're going to keep in its entirety. So you need to cut straight down. Okay, this one we're going to keep it as a square. We're going to get rid of that one, so I might as well just get rid of it while I'm here. And this one. cut it off so square full square you need to wedge into this one a little bit and it just means that it will close that little bit easier and there we go so you can see just those little bits where I've wedged in so if I turn it back the right way so this was the bottom and that's the top and it's all going to close round those are going to fold in and in and that's going to tuck in there and actually I've got a little bit that's just neaten that bit up a little that's better so adhesive along here and then this is the back so you fold in two sides and the back and then some glue on there if you've got something heavy and make sure you put plenty of glue on I'm not having anything heavy in there so what could you fit in that box because it's Oh, one and three eighths, so it's just a smidge under one and a half centimetres all the way round. What could you fit in? Oh, I think I need to trim that down slightly. Hmm, you could fit little mini toiletries. Sweeties, obviously. Oh, also fit sweeties in there. I'm just taking a tiny little whisper off there. So it will... There we go, it's closing in properly now. Oh, all sorts, little toiletries. Oh, 
maybe a little bottle of something. Right, now on this one I use the um, Pool Party Shimmer, no this is not Pool Party at all, this is Powder Pink Shimmer Ribbon. And I was going to use the Pool Party and then I looked on my shelves and thought, oh look, we've got Bermuda Bay free ribbon. Let's use that and as we all know, celebration ends in just days. Oh, I'm going to be sad when it's over this year. Well, I'm sad every year when it's over. I'm always sad when celebration ends. Um, I, can't, I can't get a hold of this. Um, but I've loved these ribbons. Absolutely loved them. So, okay, we're going to tighten a knot because we're going to make the boy version of the bag. I mean, not to say that a pink bowed box is not boyish but you know what I mean so this one it's got a knot and this one has got this little bird from the good day stamp set which I really 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 like so I'm going to take that circle again and actually at this point I don't know what I'm going to put inside it oh a little treat for somebody sweet little treat for somebody sweet there it is that one and maybe I'm gonna go with that one I don't know yet <laughs> I'm so indecisive right where's my Bermuda Bay ink there it is let me get some scraps of whisper white there we go right let's see what happens because that was dotted let's see what happens if I punch this out and I want my one and three eighths of an inch scallop and yeah that works okay actually yep I'll have one of them and shall we have the ice cream I don't know that I want the ice cream I might put a bunny on it Easter's not that far away is it should I put the bunny on it why not Let's be different. And bring that back in. Oh, what colour do I want to do my bunny? Oh, oh, I don't know what I, I don't want a blue bunny. Um, plum cake bunny, I think. And we'll colour bunny in yellow. Oh no, that doesn't fit inside that circle. You see, that's why I didn't do it. Oh, decisions, decisions. Well, maybe I'll just have to do a bigger circle then. Wrong one. Okay, so if that's the one and three eighths, I need the one and a quarter circle, which is hiding from me. There it is. Is that going to fit in? Oh, yes. Perfect. And is that going to fit in there? Look, no, that's going to completely cover everything up. I didn't want to do that. What size do I want to go down? I want to go down to one inch, don't I? Ooh, okay, let's see if Bunny will fit in a one inch. Honestly, it's not as painful as, as it, I'm making it look. Is Bunny going <gasps> to... Bunny fits. Yes. Don't know how excited that's just made me. Okay, so Bunny's going to fit in there, covering up that bit and on the front. So let's colour little Bunny in. Right, let me find my blender pens. There we go. Right. So I think we'll give Bunny a blue bow. So blender pens are fabulous because you, well, if you've used an ink that um, is water based you can move move the colour around so I'm just going around the edges for the moment and then I'm going to come in but you can move the ink of your stamped image around but also once you've laid a little bit of colour down you can blend it around and you can get some shading and I've just made that paper pill but there we go oh well blue bow on bunny need a pale pink or a blushing bride because it's more got handy just on the inside of those ears oh, that's 
so sweet. I wish you could see, but you know what? Every time I zoom in, I forget to zoom back out again and then nobody can see anything. Right, dimensional on the back of there. And onto there. You know what? Let me put it on autofocus. There we go. <gasps> Cute little bunny. Very sweet. Onto the front of that. And then, oh, I need to get a little bow on here, don't I? So we don't have a Bermuda Bay one like that. So I'm going to make my own. I can tie bows when they're not attached to anything. Which when they're round things, I have issue. Although this might not let me play today. Oh, you could put little mini Easter eggs in. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You could put um, Cadbury's mini eggs. They're lovely. Those ones in the, in the sugary shell. Oh, they're lovely. Actually, that's those bows and tails are a bit long. They would be lovely in there. You don't... You, well... You could put a whole bag in and squish it about. If you're going to take them out, you would, you know, you can't sell them like that. You'd have to have a hygiene certificate. But you could use for your family, tip them all out. How is this video 11 and a half minutes long and it's a tiny little project? We don't mind. There we go. Very sweet. And you know what? Let's just pimp it up a little bit more. With a wink of Stella <clears throat> on the bow. To match the glittery bits back there and that I think is lovely let's bring them up close so you can see oh, too cute it's a myth some magic paper and not a mythical beast in sight anyway thank you ever so much for joining me hope to speak to you very soon bye